Hello everybody and welcome to my dingo breeding habitat. It's uh, looking very nice as you can see, but this has uh, one big problem. There's only one baby around here in the entire habitat. And that has one reason. Let me show you that reason. Uh, let me find alpha male real quick. There he is. The dingo, as you can see, is a real asshole. Only the alpha male and the alpha female can breed, and the rest of the whole troop is, yeah, kind of screwed. Or not. <laughs> well, they, they can't breed, they can't have babies now, so yeah. It's looking very nice, but for an... Uh, Dingo breeding program, we have to fix something else, and that's here. I uh, built a four way uh, habitat with uh, inside staff rooms. You've seen this type of breeding habitat on the workshop already, probably. So, this is my version a little uh, updated walls, and yeah. I'll uh, show you uh, something important about it too. The updates uh, changed uh, something about the roads. Uh, how close you can place them near barriers. Meaning you can't place in roads after you put in a blueprint. So that's a problem. So we're gonna fix that. We're gonna build the road first. And after that we can place the blueprint on top of the roads, so it all should connect. So, what we have here is a 6x6 of staff pathing. So that's uh, 4 in the middle on each side. And on the outside we have the guest pod, and that's a 24x24, 24 24, meaning there are 8 tiles in the middle between the staff pod and the gas pot, like right here. Then we're gonna take the blueprint and we're gonna put the blueprint as close to the road as possible, zoom in and make it fit so that it snaps to the road. Like this, yeah make sure it's the correct height so a little lower than this and then you want to check if all the sides are connected to the pot this side yep, all doors are connected this door is connected this door and this one as well and then here the little road inside snaps so everything snaps as it should so then you can place it then you can take the habitat doors place it inside as close you can get it and make it into a null barrier so you only have the door then you have to do it on the other doors as well, of course. And yeah. Then you take your null barriers and you want to put them inside the wall. It's very important that they're inside because if it's not inside, the animal can cross it. Like this, when it's yellow, it's not inside. You should move it a little. When it's not yellow, it's completely hidden. Then you have the no barrier inside the wall and the animal cannot escape and it registers at the, as the habitat as it should. Now, this part you can just take easy. Oh, I did it wrong. 
second side, no yellow should be visible. There's a little bit yellow. So break it also inside. Check the other side. No. Now it's looking good. No yellow barrier is visible. So we can finish this part here. Now this part here is outside the habitat. Uh, so it doesn't matter, you can just put it where you want. So you don't need to be precise with this part. And this part is the inside wall again, so you need to be very precise with it again. So that the null barrier is inside the wall. And then this part doesn't matter, because the animal can go there. So you can just connect it like that. This one should be exact. So, like that, the habitat is complete, or at least one of the four. And uh, the animal has enough room in it, and should be completely happy. Only thing is a little bit short grass. Dingo almost likes everything, so it should be fine. And then uh, you have yourself a new uh, easy breathing habitat and your guests have a nice uh, curing area to walk around it so still keep giving you money with donation boxes so your breathing suit doesn't run out of money so that's it goodbye